Hi all, welcome to ABEC 346 Integrative Behavior. If you haven't met me yet, my name is Dr. Snexer and I will be your instructor this semester. The point of this video is to just quickly go through a couple of things as we prepare for the semester to start. We will go more in depth into course expectations and our schedule for this semester and the whole syllabus during our first class meeting which is actually on Monday, February 8th at 1 p.m. I'll see you then and we'll go through some more of, like I said, the course structure and you can ask questions. But today I just wanted to go through uh, some of the basics as we get ready to start spring 2021 at Canisius College. If you have any questions for me before the semester begins, you can see my email address right here. It's S-N-E-K-S-E-R-1 at canisius.edu. To start with a little bit about the structure of this course, we are scheduled to meet every Monday and Wednesday from 1 p.m. to 2.20 p.m. Um, I also expect, of course, additional time out of class that you'll have to work on this course, uh, doing your readings, doing assignments, which you'll see I call knowledge celebrations, and reviewing um, materials as we prepare for exams but you should be expected to be engaged in this class um, every Monday and every Wednesday from 1 till 2.20 p.m. All live sessions that we hold will be recorded on Zoom. So even if we're in the classroom, if you can't make it that day to the classroom for one reason or another, uh, all sessions will be recorded and all recordings will be available on D2L so you'll never have to miss a class. Due to social distancing rules, we need to stay, of course, six feet away from each other within classrooms, um, in addition to hand washing and wearing masks. But luckily, we were assigned a large classroom, so I believe that all of us that would like to be in the classroom can be together in the classroom. So the plan is that we will meet every Monday and every Wednesday at 1 p.m. in our classroom. And anyone who is working totally online this semester, if you've signed up to be online only, or if you need to take a week off um, due to quarantining or isolation, uh, all live sessions, as I said, will be live on Zoom, so you can join us live and they will also be recorded if you need to watch them after the class time. So we have quite a few options, whether you're, be, you're feeling comfortable to be in the classroom or you're more comfortable at home, um, we'll, we'll be able to all meet together. Um, so mark off your calendars for Mondays and Wednesdays at 1 p.m. since we will be engaged in this course material at that time. Like I said, if you're interested in being in the classroom, you will be able to join us every Monday and Wednesday. So what will a typical week look like in integrative behavior? So every Monday, we will have a knowledge celebration due. What's a knowledge celebration? If you've been in my class before, you know that I give this silly name to all the assignments that we do. So like discussion boards and quizzes, um, occasional you know, research out of class type things, all of those, I just umbrella under the name Knowledge Celebration, and those will always be due on Mondays before noon. So I know we have class at one o'clock, so I'd like you to have that assignment in before we start class on Mondays. I will post it far in advance um, the previous week. So if you wanna spend some time during the previous week working on the assignment, Maybe Wednesday after class, maybe you're free on Thursdays or Fridays, maybe you save your work for the weekend, maybe you're going to get up early Monday morning. Uh, however you want to do it, that assignment will always be due on Mondays by noon. Any um, exams that we have will also be on Mondays, so you can kind of think about Mondays as our um, assessment day for integrated behavior. The um, non-exam Mondays we will be meeting at one o'clock, either in the classroom or on Zoom. Um, and on Wednesdays at one o'clock, we'll be meeting either in the classroom or you can join us on Zoom. So um, pretty much as close to a normal semester as we can be 
we'll try to meet together live as often as we can on Mondays and Wednesdays, again, either in the classroom or on Zoom. That said, uh, during weeks one and two, we are actually going to begin remotely. So for the first two weeks of the semester, starting February 8th, which is the Monday that our first class meeting will be, all of us will meet together on Zoom. So whether you're online only or you're planning on being in the classroom face to face, all of us are going to meet on Zoom for the first few weeks. So Monday and Wednesday during that first week of February and then um, Monday and Wednesday, the second week of the semester, we will be meeting on Zoom together. After that, I hope that we'll, we will be able to be in the classroom. But of course, we know that this pandemic situation is ever changing. So at any time, we may be switching to fully remote, um, which will be fine because we'll be ready with our Zoom link and ready to go with our normal class procedures, um, whether it be in person or on Zoom. If you want to sort of follow along, I'm always going to post on our course D2L site whether we will be in Zoom or in the classroom. So I will always try to give you that heads up at least a week ahead of time so that if you'd like to join us in the classroom, you're able to. If for whatever reason you can't, you can just hop on Zoom and I will be, you know, live streaming from the classroom. So again, please mark on your calendars and I will send this in the email. Uh, week one, week two, both Monday and Wednesday, we're all gonna meet together on Zoom remotely. Um, and then hopefully during week three, we'll move into the classroom and uh, hopefully for the rest of the semester, though at any time we may switch back to being remote. So. Um, please find yourself a comfy, cozy place where you can meet with us on Zoom um, for those first couple weeks. So um, I know uh, I'm in my spare bedroom right now, <laughs> and this is where you'll be joining me from. Occasionally, I'll be in my office when I can be. So sometimes you'll see me Zoom from um, my office at Kenesha's. Um, so find your, your super great space to be focused and we will plan to all meet on Zoom. Now I know what you're thinking, let me just say this one thing about Zoom. I will not require you to have your cameras on during Zoom. However, please consider during the first couple of classes at least to keep your cameras on so we can sort of get to know each other. Um, I'll be asking lots of questions during class, so if you can speak up and chime in, that would be great during those remote sessions. If you're in a place where you can't speak up, I'll always have the chat available too, so we can always converse through the chat. So again, just sort of thinking about how our class is going to work. I'd like it to be as uh, similar to a normal semester as it possibly can be during a global pandemic. So please, if you're able to join us on Zoom with your camera on, we don't care if you're in your jammies, okay? Put your, put your camera on, get, get those headphones on with that microphone, right, so that you can join in with the course discussion. If that's not possible, camera off and typing in the chat is also fine, although I encourage you to, to uh, engage as much as you can. So that's our plan for the first couple weeks. As I said, hopefully in week three, we'll be moving into the classroom, um, and hopefully all of us that would like to be will be in that classroom together. Of course, same procedures as Canisius has had in the past. We will have to be wearing masks. We can only use um, the assigned seats that are labeled for us. Um, I will be bringing Clorox wipes and disinfectants uh, so that we can wipe everything down. You'll have a seating chart that we will establish during our first week together. And of course, if you're feeling ill, please just join us on Zoom. We'll always have Zoom available for you to join in live. Um, so there's no pressure to come in if you're not feeling okay or if you think you may have been exposed. We wanna say stay as safe as possible. Final quick thing I just wanna mention because I've gotten quite a few emails about this and I'm very sorry for the confusion. The bookstore has listed our textbook twice because there are technically two um, ISBN numbers, these fancy numbers here, 
that correspond to the books because there's two versions of this book, one that has a fancy hardcover and one that has this cute birdie on the front um, that is paperback. They're the same book. They just have different covers, and for some reason, they have different ISBN numbers. Either of these books is fine. Pick the cheapest one. Whichever one you can find cheaper, that's the one you should buy, okay? If you've already accidentally bought both, maybe find someone in the class that can buy your extra copy off of you, okay? Or send it back if you can. Or let me know. Maybe I'll buy it off you. So I just want to point out, you only need one of these. It's, it's exactly the same book. Um, I'm really sorry for the bookstore mistake. I think it was probably my fault, sorry about that. But just pick one of these books, whichever one you can find cheaper. There's only one edition of it, it just has two different covers. So anyone that you find anywhere is gonna be the right book as long as it's by Ryan and Wilzinski and it's called An Introduction to Animal Behavior, An Integrative Approach. It was published in uh, 2011. So this is the book you wanna buy. Um, again, sorry for the confusion and if you have more questions about that, don't forget, you can always email me. Again, my email here is s-n-e-k-s-e-r-1 at kanishas.edu. I'll spend a lot more time on the very first day of class explaining more about course expectations and the different material that we'll cover in this class. But again, today was just talking about our general course structure. And I will see you on Monday, February 8th at 1 p.m. on Zoom. So make sure you look on D2L to find that Zoom link. We'll always use the same link um, and join us then. All right, enjoy this last week of break. Have a good one, bye.